baby. Sugar baby. Nice whip, nice crib. Nice I crib. want this. I want I that. Want he that. give it to me. This is the fit for today. Nothing crazy. And then I got my champion shoes on. I'm about to go to an appointment and go meet up with one of my homegirls. New hair. Who this? So. I made this bob for myself last night. I hope y'all like it. I'm about to go to an appointment so I can get this sty removed from my eye. I'm about to go get some antibiotics. Some of y'all have probably seen, I have a little bump on my eye. It's been there for years. I've just never cared to get it removed. But honey, we trying to be perfect. So this sty gotta go. I'm about to go get my antibiotics. Come with me. probably like yeah that's <laughs> you would be the one yes i'm just so excited to get this off my eye because i don't know why i never thought about it beforehand yeah when did it start so honestly it's probably been here for about like um it's probably been here for like two years two years yes i, I don't know why i just never i thought it would go by on its own it never has and then like my eye started hurting this morning and i was like oh my gosh yeah, i don't want another it. one right oh here. i do see it okay yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. And then any pain with it? Um, just this morning it started hurting again. It was a little red. I thought it was gonna start I thought another one was coming, so I was like, man, let me go to the eye doctor before. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Definitely a long time we'll have that on. I know, right, girl, I know. I don't know why I kept it on me this long. I just never thought about it. Yeah. I sometimes forget it's there, but Oh my gosh. And then are you a new patient with us? Yes. Okay. Cool. I'll go ahead and just go over some paperwork with you. Or did you have a shoes filled out? I'm sorry? Did you do the new patient paperwork or probably? No, 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 no. She just checked me in there. Okay. Cool. cool. Um, any history of any eye diseases, glaucoma, cataracts, macular degeneration, anything like that? No, ma'am. No. Do you get headaches, blur vision, itching, burning, irritations in the eye? Um, just irritation. Okay. Any medications? No, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. And then any history of high blood pressure, high cholesterol, thyroid, diabetes? No, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Anybody in your family, macular degeneration, glaucoma, no. eye diseases? Yeah, we're, really, we're all really healthy. All healthy? Yeah. Okay. Good to hear. I'll go ahead and get Dr. Darshak and then he'll take a look at the sty. So cool. hopefully we'll get you feeling better. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hello, hello there. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? I'm wonderful. How are you doing? Good. Good. My name's Chris. Nice, nice to meet you. I can't shake hands right now. <laughs> <Good. laughs> All right, what's going on? So I've been having um, this guy for a little while. Okay. I always read that it would go away on its own, so that's why I never got it looked at. Yeah. But then this morning, um, I started getting a little redness, and I got scared another one was coming. So I was sure. like, let me call somebody real quick. Okay. okay. How long has it been there? Honestly, it's probably been like two, three years. Two, three years. Yeah. Okay. I just forget about it. So what you have is basically it's called a chalazion. Um, so basically that's what happens, or that's the name that we give basically when a sty doesn't completely go away. Um, so it's basically like scar tissue that's basically like kind of trapped in this little sack. Okay. Two thing, how two ways we can get rid of it. One is you either have to take a steroid shot in that place, 
or they just have to flip your lid and they have to like kind of dig it out a little bit, but you don't feel anything, they right. they numb you. <laughs> okay. It sounds a lot scarier than it really right. is. Um, but that's really the only way to get rid of it, especially since it's been this long. Right. They can sometimes get a little irritated and cause that redness, mm -hmm. but it's not like an active inflammation or like some kind of active infection going on right now. Okay. Um, but yeah, if you want to get rid of it, we would just have to refer you out to um, see each other, which, which route you want to go with. Okay, I would want to do. I would, rec I would like to try the stairway shot first. Do you think that's better, or for them to scrape it out? Will I have a scar? Honestly, the scraping though, because what they do, they literally flip your lid and they do it on the inside. inside. Yeah, so right, you right. don't. Yeah, no one would see it. To be honest, the getting it scraped out is better. Okay. Um, it's probably li a little bit more of like a healing time, you know, and things like that. But the steroid shot, usually you have to do a couple. Um, you can. It can sometimes change the color of that skin area a okay. little bit. So. Getting it cut out is better, to be honest, right. um, if that's an option. Um, but it would all depend on, on the, the whoever cuts it out, basically, right, for right. you. But yeah, I would definitely want to get a screen done then. Yeah, right. And we have a place that we refer to for all that kind of stuff. But this, this is totally common. It's not um, any big deal. But right, right. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, nothing to be concerned about right now. Like I said, sometimes it can just cause a little irritation, but really. And so uh, my main question is, if I would have um, treated it sooner, I wouldn't have had to get it scraped out and stuff, it would have went away, or, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> my you, you, Usually for that, we have to give you like oral antibiotics, and then also you have to do like those warm compresses, those uh, yeah, was doing massages. That. Yeah, but usually the oral antibiotics can usually take care of it, but yeah. It's See, it's my mom's fault. She goes, if you're not dying, don't go to the doctor. <laughs> so right. I was like, I'm not dying, and I'll just leave it alone. No, of course, they're just one of those things. They don't, you know, they don't look great, but they, right. they, they just got to get cut out. Okay. So, yeah, no big deal. Cool. Okay. Thank you so yeah. much. And I'm sorry, what was your name again? Chris. Chris. Yeah. There we go, y'all. <laughs> Thank you right. so much. You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. Come on up with me. All right, cool. Well, today is Saturday. It is Martin Luther King weekend. And honey, we've been to turn up. I look a hot mess. My eyelashes are all over the place. My hair is up in this bonnet. Girl, I just got done editing my New York vlog. I haven't ate yet. It's like 4 o'clock, 4 p.m. So I'm about to hop my butt in the shower, get cleaned up, do my makeup, go to my warehouse and go grab me some lashes from my lash line, Sugar Baby Hair, because girl, these lashes are not it. And then I'm going to get dressed and get ready to meet up with a friend that came to town and go eat. That's them right there. They just texted me. So, honey, let me get ready because time goes by fast. And let's get turned up because it is MLK weekend, honey. And we getting lit. Oh, cool. let's go. I just got out the shower. I'm about to put some lotion and my smell goods on. I use Nivea. It's one of my favorite lotions for my skin and i'm putting it on everywhere do not trust somebody who only puts lotion on their face honey because now we need it all over and girls go get your toes waxed too while i'm over here thinking about it if you put lotion on you look down at your toes and you see some hair let them grow out and go get it waxed we don't want to see no hairs coming out your toes And I put it on my booty too. Get the, get the booty, get the booty crack. All oh, that needs to get moisturized. Child, we're trying to get it ate up. It is Martin Luther King weekend. And don't forget to moisturize that cooter cat. Okay, honey, moisturize that punani girl. I like to put these on for many reasons. It's super comfortable while I'm getting ready. It's loose and they're just like robes, except for honey, it's a dress and I don't have to worry about it opening up or anything like that. So now I'm gonna put my deodorant on. I use Secret 24 hour powder, fresh spray deodorant. And I also get waxes. Let me see if y'all can see my armpit. This is what the pit, <laughs> this is what the pit looks like, girl. You want nice pits. If y'all want some pit tricks, definitely let me know. 
But yes, honey, get that all up in there. I get the top two and the very bottom. I cannot stand when people's armpits smell. So make sure you get the whole thing, sis. I like to use vitamin E oil on my feet. You can go to a your local Dollar Tree and get you a whole bunch of them for one dollar. It's one. Ooh, it's 100% vitamin E oil. And I'm going to dinner first, so I'm not going to do my hair. Like I'm not gonna crimp it or anything. I'm just gonna straighten it out and throw on some dinner clothes and then do a nice light look for makeup that way I'm still presentable because I am meeting somebody you know somebody came to town for me to see me so and I got my 40 inches in Cooking up dope in the crock pot. pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody grit the trigger. Nobody call up the gang and they come and get jank. Cry me a river, give you a tissue. Hey. Bad and boozy, bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. God. My bitch is bad and boozy, bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. My niggas are savage, ruthless. Hey. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. God. Raindrops, drop top, drop top, smoking on cooking the hot box. Cooking, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey, I don't try. Stopped by my workspace where I store all of my products and ship them off. It's something for me to have my own space separate from home until I expand. But I came mainly because. I want to get me some lashes so some of you know some of you don't know I do have a lash business and it's sugar baby hair so these are my packages and you can see on it it has my logo sugar baby hair so I came by to grab me a pair of lashes and I think tonight I want to wear Seductress. These are seductress. They are. Hold on, child. This I love these. They're very thick. So I think I'm gonna get me a thick one because I have long thick. I have but I have all styles. So I don't know. Maybe these. I like these because they're really really thick. And then these are more like Barbie lashes. They're kind of separated. And then I have some thin, long ones. You know, you can see the difference. And I have these here. So I think I'm going to go with these for tonight. Let me do these. Yeah, we're going to do these, honey. So let's go. I just gotta, um, well, her first, her first uh, read is gonna be with my Amy. No, you're gonna like them hoes too, I ain't gonna lie. But you know, she gonna eat up all the color of whoever she fuck with because she all white. Right. But, uh, so her first one, that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. And then after that, so what you have right now is you have implants that are shaped a lot more like this. That's what the 390 matches with, and this is what we call a moderate profile implant. Okay. When you're looking to get more roundness, you start using adjectives that sound more like the word high. So this, depending on the brand, is either a high profile or an extra high. Depending on the brand, this is either a moderate plus or a full or a full profile. Okay. And what I'm thinking for you is to get the roundness that you want is either this style or this style. If this is actually sitting in your breast, you see how this will give you much more roundness mm -hmm. than this one will, which is what you currently have. Okay. And so um, my goal would be create an internal bra, mm -hmm. 
depending on the size that we pick, um, I'm either going to go with one of these, which will make you super round. Okay. Or this, which will give you some more width to fill in the gap between your breasts, but right. still give you some fullness on top. Okay. But the internal bra will really be helpful to create that and kind of push everything up at the same time. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And so... Uh, I think I wanted to just one. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. So there are some, there's some practical, some practicalities behind that though. Okay. So the first thing is we talked about doing all of these incisions around your breast mm -hmm. right, to raise the areola, reduce the size of the areola, and then tighten your skin. Mm -hmm. The rounder the implant is, imagine you have a super round implant that you're tightening. So you see yourself? Oh, uh, that, you're, that you're tightening like everything around. Mm -hmm. So when you, um, when you tighten it all the way down around the circle, there's this ongoing stretch around there. And so mm -hmm. those high profile implants, a lot of times if you go really big, which we need to do to fill the gap, mm -hmm. and you try to do a lift, your shape will be nice, but your scars will be horrific. Right, so that's what I wanted to know. So the tattoos I got underneath, you'll have to go back inside of those tattoos? I have to like redo all of those. Okay. I know, you get those tattoos too prematurely. I know, <laughs> I thought I would be like happy with what I got, but. <laughs> like I almost need to, cut out your tattoos entirely and start all and you like will be tattoo free at the end of this whole thing and, and we need to Let's do it, I'll get some more tattoos. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to be better than trying to, you know, than trying to salvage what you have or trying to make it work with the way you are. Right. So I'm thinking if we go 100 to 150 bigger, that we go one step up in terms of profile from mm -hmm. moderate to full. Okay. If you have a full, a full now, which I don't think you do, but if you if you, that's what you have, then we go from that to high. Mm -hmm. With the internal bra, you will get fullness, trust me. Cool. Because it'll sit right up here, just like a push-up bra. Mm -hmm. um, and then yeah. I, think your, I think your scars do better with that. Okay, and then do you come back after the internal bra dissolves and you get it put in again, or...? No, so the internal bra gets replaced by your own tissue. Oh, that's what you said earlier. Yeah, okay, so, okay. in fact, let me, uh, let me show you something on this screen. Okay. okay. So, uh, <clears throat> so, internal bra works because what you're looking at here is you're looking at the breast gland. This is the pec muscle. This is your breast tissue right here. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna put the implant in behind your muscle. And I take the internal bra and I sew it basically from the lining over this rib to the undersurface of the pec muscle like this. Mm -hmm. So for the first you know, year while, while the internal bra is sitting there, mm -hmm. the implant's physically prevented from dropping down by actually having that mesh there. Okay. Then your body will start to replace this with this own, with you know, with your own tissue. So there's still increased strength of that area. You're not just relying on skin to hold it in place. Right. And so you never have to do anything about replacing it. That gets replaced by your own tissue. Now, mm -hmm. this is just one thing in an armamentarium though, right? If you think about it, you've got gravity over here and then your own tissue and whatever else you can throw at it to try to replace it. Mm -hmm. Nothing we put in is ever gonna be completely resistant against gravity. Right. But this is the best thing that we have and we can do surgically. I'm still going to tell you, you should feel great about the way you look without a bra afterwards. Right. But then you should put on a bra most of the time. Okay, I know. <laughs> so you can hold on to your results and not come back and I mean, that's, my, that's, that's my fault because yeah. I had no boobs. So I was so used to not wearing a bra. So when right. my boobs done, I was still not wearing a bra. Right. And gravity, you know, the heavier the weight. That's just physics. Yeah. The more it stretches things out and, and the more the force is on it. I'm excited. I'm totally ready to do it. <laughs> um, right. Well, then what we need to do is let's get So, you. doctor just left. I'm going to put his name down below because it is definitely foreign and it's exotic and I can't pronounce it and I don't want to mess his name up. But I'm really excited. So, basically, I have to get a replacement. So, what I'm getting done is like a, they have to take my implants out and put new implants in. So it's not like a basic, you know, everyday boob job. There's other things that he has to do. And he was telling me that he wants to put an internal bra. We're going to go bigger, more high profile. And I'm also going to get a different implant. I want to show y'all all of the implants that they have. So they have all of these implants here. 
this is the one that I'm going to go with because I want more round. I want round boobs. And then this is him here. He looks like he knows what he's doing. And that's his name. It looks like it's Jejur Ikar. But yes, honey, he is certified. Let me get a little video of the whole office. And here's me. Hey, honey. So I wasn't filming too much at the beginning because he is in a rush. He has another patient that he's going to see. And I was late, girl. I was doing hair. I forgot my wallet. I forgot my mask. Like, I was, and no matter what was going on, I was like, girl, I have to go to my boob consultation. Like, I have to get there. So I made it, and they're about to get my quota. Well, he actually has to see my card. He has to see my card for my old boob job so he can know what implants that I have in. Thankfully, I have it at the house, so I'm going to send it to them when I leave. And then, girl, we're going to get started on this journey. <laughs> I'm really excited, but I'll talk to y'all later. Mwah. So I just got done with my consultation. Girl, I'm excited because I'm ready for some new boobies. I know it's like, girl, why do you want new boobs? You just got your boobs done. What's wrong with them? Wear a bra, do a push-up. No. When I take my bra off, I want my boobs to sit how I want them to sit. And when you have money, you do what you want. Okay? So they gave me my quote. My quote is $13,840. So they went over everything with me. I'll zoom in a little bit so y'all can see all of the pricing. This is my quota. Um, as you can see, the length of the surgery is gonna be three hours. The surgery center fee is 2,000. The anesthesia fee is 1,000. His fee is 7,000. The implants, because I'm getting two of them, obviously, is $25.50. And then I'm also getting a bra put in, which is not $245. This is just, um, I forget what they say. Oh, wait, no, this is insurance. So I'm going to go over the insurance also. And then the bra is included in this price here. The bra is $900, the um, internal bra. And then they require you to get insurance, which is awesome because I've never had a um, surgical company offer me insurance. They offer insurance for $245, which works really good because if you have to go to the hospital, if you are not feeling right, this $245 covers $5,000 worth of insurance. So if anything happens to you, it, you're covered. And these are optional. I honestly forget what this first one was. But the last one is your overnight stay at a hotel, which is optional. $900 is way too much. I'm guessing somebody comes in and helps take care of you. I don't know. But also with that package, they make you have a an adult guest with you. And then that person has to be vaccinated. So I'm not going to do this. I live only 10 minutes away from where I'm getting my boobs so I'm not going to do this. I don't live far from where I'm going to get my boobs done. So I'm actually going to just have my friend drive me back to my apartment and I'm gonna rest there. And then of course they have a booking fee, a deposit fee of 10%. So you have to send 1200 in order to book your appointment and then once your appointment is booked your fee is non-refundable and then you can only reschedule 15 days before your surgery so if the day that you booked doesn't work you have only 15 days before then to reschedule or you know you do not get your money back and you cannot reschedule and you'll have to pay this de deposit fee again 
Um, and then, of course, they gave me some other papers like um, laser treatment. Um, if you have bad scarring, they'll do that. If you scar very easily. And um, they have other financial responsibility, all of your financial responsibilities. And then they have a res their rescheduling policy. Um, they have one more page, which is, what is this last page? Um, oh yeah, so their last place page is their payment policy, basically. So they do not accept cash. They only accept debit cards and money orders. They also do not accept credit cards, obviously, because, you know, girls, we want to get their boobs done and try to do a chargeback. So, of course, 13000 is way more expensive than I thought I would have to spend. Um, my first boob job was only 6900 and that's why I always tell you ladies to do your research. Do your research. Do your research. Don't jump into something because someone else did it, because if my boobs didn't need a lift when... I first had boobs because I didn't have any boobs. There was nothing to lift. So now I'm having to get a lift because my breast implants has com have completely... Gravity has completely... They're not sagging. They're very perky. But that's it. They're perky. They're perky natural tits. So if you have natural tits and they sit up, that's what my boobs are like. Um, and that's not what I want. <clears throat> a doctor once told me, in order to see a difference, you have to make a difference. So and if you want nice round boobs go for round big boobs gravity will sit in just like with bbls if you want a bbl tell him you want butt projection you want a lot of butt projection you want a lot of hip projection same thing with boobs if you want boobs tell him you want high profile you want a lot of projection don't go for a natural look when you are getting surgery and the only reason why i say that is because no matter what type of surgery you get gravity sets in and will sculpt you and you will still look good a lot of these girls that look really crazy with their surgery and booties to their boobs look too fake it's because they went multiple times and kept wanting projection so for instance girls with big butts their first butt job didn't look how it looks three butt jobs later when they first got their butt done, it looked good. It looked natural. But they kept going and asking for projection. Kept going and asking for projection. Kept going. And so now they look fake. So my second round is going to be to achieve the look that I originally wanted. Sometimes that's what it takes. And especially if you have the money, do it. You only live one time. Honey, be a baddie. So girl, I'm going to go get me something to eat. I'm really excited for my boob job. So... <clears throat> They are a gift, which I'm really excited about also. Um, and it's a well-deserved gift, to be honest, because I went through a lot of shit this past month with... <laughs> We're not going to talk about it. But um, I went through a lot of sh bullshit. So these are a well-deserved gift that I deserve. Um, I mean, I could ask for other things like... What? A car? I mean, I bought this car 10K cash. I own this car. I got the title. It runs fine. So I don't need a new car. If I got a new car, it would just be for stunting purposes on the weekend. And I'm getting an i8. I don't want nothing else but an i8 BMW for my next car. This is my mom car. And my i8 is going to be my bachelorette on a weekend car. And um, a shout out to them because they actually waived my consultation fee because I'm an influencer. So that's really cool. Hey. Um... So yeah, girl, let's go get something to eat and I'm going to send this quota to my baby so he can see how much it's going to cost. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. But other than that, it's Friday, girl. I'm going out tonight more than likely. Y'all know I'm single. And I don't think the best place to look for a man is in the club, but I'm not really looking for a man. I'm just out to have fun. Like, I don't give a, I don't give a sheet about a, a man. Um, I just want to have fun and dance and wear my outfit and take pictures and drink and smoke and be around good vibes, meet new people. 
And if my husband happens to find me in a club, oh, what's up? What's her favorite party? And I need to go to the mall too because I need to exchange this outfit. So I'm actually going to talk to y'all later. And I'm going to check in with you, honey. You know how it goes. But let me bust this bitch real quick. <laughs> Eesh. I'll talk to you later, babies. Hey, y'all. It's your girl, Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.